Danny. I'm 13. I'm in seventh grade, and um, I'm gay, and I'm being bullied quite a bit. But I have two best friends that I hang out with a lot, and they're starting to get bullied for hanging out with me. That's the last thing I want because I think they're the greatest people on earth. And I don't want to hurt them by me being around them. I don't really know what to do. I don't want to lose a, a great friendship, but I don't want them getting hurt. It's really hard to be 13 or 15 or 17 in school when you feel like you have nobody to talk to that will help you. There are resources. Glisten is great. We were just looking into the Trevor Project to see like who they work with. And there are ways to find other people's stories. But it's really hard to say, like, all right, this is the problem in my school. People are ignorant. People are uninformed. People are whatever they are. And so I'm going to go to my teacher, my principal, and be like, this is the problem, and this is how I want to solve it. I, I know that I'm a little ways away from being 13, but, like, I do remember the shit that got me fired up as a 13-year-old with my friends were the things that brought us closer together and made mm -hmm. us super excited. Like, if you get your two friends, and you say, listen, I'm getting bullied, you're getting bullied, and we have, like, a couple things we could do. We could pretend like it's not happening. We could stop hanging out together, or we could say, screw the fact that we're 13 and people think we can't make a difference we're gonna fucking make a difference they want to just you know let it lie and you feel comfortable with that you can also just do that yeah i mean i don't want to say don't be active and don't make a difference but i know what it's like to be 13 and to not want to draw any attention to myself right. whatsoever you know and that doesn't mean that two years from now you won't start the first gsa at your high school and then bring four different speakers in one year to come change everyone's lives and find out that those girls who are calling you gay are also gay and date one of them what we're trying to say is that this is a really difficult situation. There isn't one answer. The biggest thing that you need to do is talk to your friends. You need to talk to them to figure out what you want to do. If you sit down with your friends and you're like, this is bothering me. I hate that you're bullied. I don't want to hang out anymore because I don't want you to get bullied. And they're like, it doesn't even bother us. Whatever. Then you decide. Is it bothering you enough where you want to take action? Or do you just want to hang out with your friends and stay with them and feel supported by them and say, screw what's happening in the hallways? Mm -hmm. Right? Or... Do you talk to your friends and they're like, yeah, screw this. This is total bullshit. And like, what can we do? And then you guys sit down and think of a plan and talk yeah. to your administration. And you know what? If you talk to your administration and they're a bunch of a-holes for some reason, email us info at everyoneisgay.com. Tell us about it. We'll talk to them for you too. Right? We'll talk to them. Why not? If we can't get there, we might as well call. Yeah. Hello, is this the principal? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I got wind from one of your students that they were trying to talk to you about making their school safe and that you told them they should just wait it out until high school. Yeah, gay people ain't right! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't! as bisexual about a year ago and what they told me basically was it's your personal life we'll stay out of it and we don't have to worry about that which I thought was fine until I realized over the course of this year that what that really meant was talk to us when you're straight again I'm seeing someone pretty seriously now and I'm not really sure how to handle the situation because when I try to talk to them about it they pretend like it's not happening I don't really know what else to say well, you should just start bringing the girl around your house. Yeah. Having her over to family dinners. They don't want you to talk about it. I mean, I'm being passive aggressive right yeah. now. Okay. Because you, because she Because they're said, being passive aggressive. Yeah, passive. they're being total a-holes, yeah. parents. You've tried to talk to them multiple times. It's mm -hmm. totally not cool that they're not letting you talk about it. Because it's your personal life. You're their kid. Mm -hmm. Your personal life is their personal life. Just be passive aggressive. I would be I passive am. aggressive. I would bring her over. I would continuously be like, so my girlfriend and I are going to blah, blah, blah. So my girlfriend and I are also yeah. going to blah, blah, blah. Hey, girlfriend is coming over for dinner tonight. Can you make an extra cheeseburger? 
Yeah, I would do the exact same thing. Or I would be like, so I'm getting married. And they'd be like, what? <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm not getting married, but what if I was? You wouldn't even know who I was getting married to. <laughs> that was a sample of what it will be like for me never to tell you about my personal life until I'm asking you to walk me down the aisle. Yeah, so, I mean, the point is right now, they don't really see the like grand scheme of anything. They're like, right now, she's gay. She'll get over it, and she'll be straight again, and it'll be fine. But that's not how it is. That's how... They're thinking of it and they're pretending it is, but you need to somehow communicate to them that this is like real, this is ongoing, and I've been seeing this girl for a year or however long it's been, and I'm going to continue seeing her, and if you want to be in my life at all, you have to accept it. If you want to do um, aggressive, passive aggressive, when they're like, uh, APA. APA is what it's called. When they're like, sweetie, I got a new job and I'm going to be moving two hours closer to you, you can go, don't want to hear it, and then walk out of the room. <laughs> You don't want to know anything about their personal life. So what do you want me to make for dinner tonight, honey? Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to hear about your personal life. Those eggs, they're your personal life. (laughs) Parents all over the world want to share those things with their kids, and their kids won't. Your parents are in this incredible position where you actually want to talk to them. (sighs) Mom, Dad, here's what's up. You're lucky as shit. Your daughter's awesome. She wants to talk to you about her personal life. Probably 95% of parents don't get that luxury. Don't let it slip away because you're going to put yourself in a position where one day she won't tell you a single thing and you figure out you have two grandchildren. Yeah. Is that what you want? That's what I thought. Hmm. I hate your gut, and I hope that you die. <laughs> no, 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 keep going, keep going. This in a stupid. <laughs>